Good evening, lab. It's very late, and I'm trying something new. It's YouTube's upload system, and I'm not sure how well this will actually work, because I don't know what the quality is. I don't know what the sound quality will be either, but let me know if it sounds pretty good, because if it does, I can keep doing this, and then I can have longer stories. But since tonight is 11.18 and I've been on very long, I think I want to tell you a story tonight. It's not the world's longest story, but it is rather... I don't know what it was. You tell me later, okay? All right. So, there once was a bubble. And this bubble... I had tried a number of different activities to massage his desire for momentum and activity. And he tried running in the woods and it didn't go. It was good. It was he enjoyed it. However, it was more time consuming because he had to go to the location, back to the location, and shower and then go to class. And that was harder to do than by the afternoon you just didn't have the energy to go out. And he continued to bike, ride his bike, so it was very nice and very enjoyable and he loved doing it with this one particular Lady Bluffo. Although he'd like to do more cycling with this Lady Bluffo in the future. And that was good, but he couldn't do it all the time. Because he he didn't have the bike, nor did he have the time, and I don't know. He finally found something really interesting one day when he decided he was going to work on cardio and went to a pool. And that was really fun, and he learned to love it. Love it, need it, require it. Or else he'd go a little bit stir crazy. But the neat thing is, he started swimming about two to two and a half k a day, and his lady Bluffo commented that that seems a lot like just diving into something, and that his joints might suffer for it, which are better now. But that's not the point. Um, and he, I'm sure he gave reasons, but. He had another thing on his mind, and that was another story. This is a story within a story now. In this story, there was a badger, and this badger lives on an island in the ocean, north of the Hebrides and south of Iceland, and there were these two little islands called Kultur and Hefte, and I mean, you might have heard the story before. The badger would swim across the channel on one tide to meet an incredibly beautiful and fantastic girl, and then swim back across on the other tide. And so, badger really liked this, so he printed it off and he tried practicing calligraphy on it to try and actually manage to get the story out in a very nice way. It takes forever. Anyway, he he loved it a lot. And what this bluffo did after reading about this badger was look into the distance between those two islands there and back, and it was roughly about two and a half k. And this blackwell has to admit, that was incredibly good motivation for him. He liked the idea of swimming across the sea to go and meet his beautiful lady black, whom he loved dearly and really, really wanted to see all the time. And so when swimming, he always had a reminder of what he was swimming for, what what the end goal was, and why most people can't handle doing 40 lengths of 25 meters. He didn't mind all that much, because it didn't feel like going back and forth and so much constantly going toward that one big goal of finally swimming back. The girl and Blapo, he absolutely loved. And swimming reminded me of her all the time, every time, and it made him miss, miss her terribly. A lot, a lot. But he loved her a lot, and that's the thing. And he knew that if he just kept swimming, one day he'll be able to swim all the way home, right around Christmas, and get an absolutely wonderful Christmas present. And it's something to be talking about for a very long time. And that was a kiss on the nose, a great big hug, 
and a partner in crime to talk to. Just be close to in love. Because there's really no other level like her. I really wish I could come to her. We'd have a great time. But he will soon, and he knows that. He's incredibly happy about that. <sighs> I love you, Christy. I'll talk to you soon, okay, sweetie? Actually, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh. I'm not sure what time, but I will talk to you tomorrow. I love you, Christy. Sleep when I'm vegan now. Keep can, find a llama carry in. And I'll talk to you tomorrow evening. Good night, Christy. I love you.